Brisbane Yamaha knows, boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And today, I've got something special for you. A 490 Renegade. Now, I've been bombarded on the channel for people saying, I want something a little bit bigger than a 460. Do a 490. Well, here you go. It's like my kids saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah, we are here. And we've got the 490 for you. But I've got a special one. For all you guys that are a bit of Crocodile Dundee, little Steve Irwin. The other day I did a YouTube on the McKay trailer for beach launching. For all you guys that want to travel Australia, go anywhere, go up the Cape, go to beaches, wherever you want to go. So today we're going to pretend we're up north and I'm actually going to show you how this trailer works. But first up, let's have a look at this 490 because this is a hard working boat. Now, at the front, Dan, come up here. What we've got is this awesome McKay trailer with the walkway, with the wind up jockey wheel, look at that. And then it just knocks out of the way. You push it down, that handle even gets out of the way so you don't knock that up, up on the gutter and other things, you know? Awesome sort of bit of gear. And with the beach launch, we'll have a look. Look down that hull because it's got the full blade hull. Underfloor tank, and this boat's special. It's set up, it's going up to Harvey Bay. You know, the owner, he's had a lot of boats, but he came to Brisbane Yamaha because he wanted it, he knows. If you go out remote, you're gonna need the reliability of a Yamaha, and you're gonna need the ride of a Quintrex with that blade hull. And these Renegades have just set records. Now have a look at it, because it's got Land Cruiser rims. I've brought my old 100 series to match it up. Big bearings there. Come back in and have a look at that suspension. So when you get into the rough stuff, if you've got normal trailer, you've just got the slippers, you know, the spring just goes into a little loop and you go over some big bumps and those springs just fall apart. Well, this is loop to loop, so it can't. This could go over any and the, the shocks will just stay in place. Now come to the back, because we've got a Garmin nine, nine and a half inch on it. We've got the Min Coda and we've got this Yamaha 90. Dan will put up the specs. He'll put up the specs on the 90 because I love those 90s. We've done a lot of them, I've sold hundreds of them. Hydraulic steer, Minn Kota, Garmin sounder, McKay trailer, what more could you want? Now today, like we do, we have the gas measurer for the truthometer. And this will be interesting because I haven't measured a 490. This is Clint, come in here. Clint fishes the piney, today we're at Caboolture, and, fish, and Clint catches a lot of whiting and brim. Good to have you here. We're not allowed to shake because of social distancing. Now what we'll do is, I'll get you to hold that and just off the end here, because they always think I cheat. But we'll come, we'll come back to here. Holy crackers. It's a 490 that measures 5'2". Right, even if you, nah, it's 5'2". You know, so it's a 490, it's a five metre boat. No wonder they ride well. Now I'll get you over the other side there, Clint. And what we'll do is we'll come just where this rail is and put it on the outside of the boat, over to here, 21050. Now come onto the inside, Clint, so we can just see what the interior is. And what we are is 1760, one metre 760. Now up here, Clint, just in front of the console, same thing outside of the boat, two metres, have a look here, two metres, 20, 10. Inside Clint, now what Clint doesn't know is, he's actually the thousandth customer that come and be our measurer, one eight. Now, and he gets to take this boat home. No, only joking Clint, you don't. <laughs> Down the back there, go right to the back, to just, uh, uh, to the engine well. Just there, yeah? And what we've got working area, Holy crackers, how far is that? Can you see it? Uh, three, three, six, three, seven to the, that's not right. Hold on, what do we got there? Measure it to there, 11 foot, three meters 40. Does that sound enough? I suppose it does. And now I'll just check the free board because what everyone's gonna, gonna wanna see, see this boat here's got a bit of special stuff. It's got a rod locker that we haven't seen. 650. So remember we were 420 was only 500. 460 was 550 and this is 620. What do you reckon about this thing, Clint? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know, Clint's well known down on the piney, catches the biggest whiting and brim they've ever seen. 
He's on the jacks as well. This thing would serve you all right. Too good, too good. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You got on you, Clint. Thank, thank, thank you very much thank for holding you. the tape measure. Now what we'll do is we'll quickly hop inside. It really is a big boat. Look at this rod locker here. I'd put tubes and stuff. You could lay your rod, your rods in there. Let's measure that to see because there'll be people that go, oh, you know, I can't get my rods in. Let's just measure it to see what that comes at because I've got no idea. Two metres, 220, 70. Two metres, 270. You're going to get a, it's about 300 across. Now you've got a little storage in the middle. You can put a battery in there, but what we've done is we've got dual batteries on this because we've, uh, we've gone and put an 80 pounder on it. Now have a look up here, Dan, have a look here. It's just so you can see. This is a bit of Brisbane Yamaha goodness. You know, you can see the breakaway there for the Minn Kota. You've got two deep cell batteries right in the middle. That'll be centered. You've got the, plenty of storage back here. Look at that, there's huge amounts of room in there. You're never gonna have that much tackle. Big casting deck, nice up here, poly molded anchor well, 80 pound Minn Kota. You can even walk down the side and have a look at the back here, Dan. You know, you can get back here, go under there and see the automatic bilge and some of that classic Brisbane Yamaha. Look at this standard transom. Now I've mentioned before, you get in the back here, right? You got a live bait tank, perfect, all plumbed out. And you can get in the back when you're in some rough conditions. Cause this boat's going around Australia and if it was really rough and blowing up, you'll lock your knees in there when you're winding them in. Perfect. Now let's have a look at the seat. What a lot of people don't realize with Quintrex is the seats all come too high. And then what we do is we cut them down. Now they work for me because I'm six foot four, but your legs should be bent as a, a right angle, right? And then if not, it's not ergonomic enough. Now under here, you've got the console here. You could put your S key, your, I'd put safety gear and more lures. You put your S key at the front. I'd put a clip here. You've got a cup, a rod holder here. You know, I'd put some rods up here. You've got 95 CV. Good 703 Yamaha with a couple of land gauges. Now I've done a YouTube on your land gauges and that'll give you trawl function, which means you can just idle down at 50 revs a time. You know, if you want to chase those barra or flathead. Now this really is a big boat. Big boat for a 4.9. Well, we know that because it's 5.2. Just before we go, look at that. Look how we do all this with Anderson plugs. Look how neat it is. Look how it's all just tucked away. You know, unplug that, what you do is plug it up to the battery charger. What we're gonna do is pretend we're down at the beach or at a creek somewhere. And, and really because the trailer, the off-road trailer is higher, you have to put it in the water. So what you do, all you have to do is pull these pins out, pull that pin out. Then we just grab the drawbar, come straight round. Put the pin back in, up here, and I'd always put the pin in the bottom, that just pushes through and locks it. Now we'll wind it down on the trailer, get on that side, not that it's hard, this is a bit hard. And this thing here just turns out of the way. That's pretty good. I'll put that through there so it doesn't get wet. Okay. It's no difference to, to back in any trailer, but when you've got a, a boat ramp that's quite shallow, you know, people hate getting their boat in there their car in the water. This long draw bar, you can see that. If we didn't extend that, you would never get that boat in. Now I'll take it down, I'm gonna to have to get my feet wet to there. Now let's have a look at that. Put it in park, put the handbrake on. Have a look at that. Do you get that, Dan? That is just magnificent. 
Without that extension, you'd be real in trouble with that trailer. So here we are at the Vulture River out in the Morton Bay in a 490 Renegade, as requested. So let's start off with the stability test. You know, if I was up here, I could hook up a crab pot, pull it in, cast, I could throw a cast net, I could sit up here, I could put my little seat here, I could cast all day. It's actually for a 490, this is a very large 490 as we looked. You know, the rod locker here, that's just a good thing. I would sit on that. Kids would sit down here, be easy to fish. So let's have a look at this thing. So we'll trim it down. I've got the sounder. I've got my phone down here for speed. It'll basically, because this is a sole boat, so we have to test it, because it's going to Harvey Bay. There's no one in Harvey Bay you can buy a boat off. We sell lots of boats up there, you know, heaps. So you come up, come down to Brisbane, you know, you save money, you get a butter boat. Now let's have a look. So we're just there. We've got the 90 horsepower on the one on the 490, and I'll take off. Well, straight away, seconds. It just bounces, jumps out of the water. On top. I'm going along at 39. I'm using 12.3 litres an hour. Yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing 30. 36 k's, 38 revs. We'll come over here because there's a boat over here you need to have a look at. A couple of me boys, I'll go a bit faster. We're doing 5.5 five, and we're doing 55. It basically does a kilometre per rev. Now, Dan, see if you can see that. There's a couple of mechanics. There's the famous Bow and Wayne, greatest fitters on earth. But guess what? We don't just take it for granted that they're the best. They come out and they use it. That's a Bay Sport 605 going out. Awesome boat. You know, so look at that. We could have a 605, we could have the Renegade. What an awesome couple of boats that is. You know, oh, I got right away. Drones hanging in there, I'd imagine, Dan, is it? And this thing flies. Look at it. We haven't got a, there's not a lot of chop. There's about a quarter to half. We're sitting down. It's going along beautifully. Right, and I just want to, I just want to see how it'll circle. It's trimmed down. We're doing four. We're doing three and a half. I've got to vary it because we're running it in. You know, I'll put it into a turn. See if, it see if it breaks loose. Oh, I knew that's a, these renegades, I tell you, they're like top enders. Just bloody perfect. You know, you have to stay in there. And look at Dan. Hasn't got his back, hat on backwards today, has he? You know, you could be sitting back there, eat, chomping down a couple of ham and pickle sandwiches, drinking a can of Coke. And these things just stick and then stop, you know? Now let's have a look at it. You still can't even see that drone, Dan. Now let's have a look with this new offshore transom they got. So I'm back here pretending I'm a game skipper. My mate's onto a billy. We're backing up on the boat. Let's see. You know, you got two, you got over 220 kilo of man candy in the back. And yeah, I could probably with a 90 horsepower sit up on the front and see what happens, Dan. Dan got married last year, he's got a kid, beautiful kid. Well, look at that. See, so, and then what you do, you can trim it up. Let's see how that goes. So with that high transom, you certainly got no chance. Chasing the fish as your mates on the billies. You know, chasing mackerel or something. I'd normally just run off the front. 
If it was me and I had a big fish, I'd be here fighting the fish. We might be driving and we'd be working that fish the whole time. You know, so let's have a look. Now we, we'll just pot off, I'll trim down. We'll trim it down because I'm right out because we're when we we're back and back. Trimmed right in. Now watch this hull. All right, so standing stop. I just give it a little squirt. I got up to. I got up to four and she jumped out at about three and I'm doing 3,029 RPM. It's holding plane, 2.8, 2.7, 2.6, 2.8, 2.7, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 